Welcome everybody, Red Arrow 23 here, time for another addition to the Boom Beach Playbook. We're going to be adding Sliding Block and we're doing this on Massive Attack. We've got Lou, let's boom this beach! So here we go, Lou's going in, he's bringing along um, Captain Everspark, which I think is a nice um, addition to this attack. Um, although the basic attack sort of stays the same. So let's have a quick look at the base. Um, there are options to go for the left first. Uh, but this attack is just going to be on the right hand side um, pretty standard rooker at the front um, usually these would all be rocket launchers uh, this nine block and there are occasionally rocket launchers up the top um, in which case this attack probably won't work as well uh, but definitely check it out and see if it's going to work for you so we're going to start off with a flare landing um, from right to left we've got a couple of boats um, of riflemen i believe it's either one or two, and we've dropped Everspark straight off the bat as well. Um, I wouldn't mind if she was a little bit further behind, so like flare up and then drop Everspark would probably be a little bit better. And she's going to be starting to poop out her critters. First thing you need to know is when that first rocket launcher comes into range, you will definitely want to be um, grouped enough to be just one line of smokes, and you need to make sure you obviously smoke before you get in range of them. So we smoked a little bit early here, but that's fine. Um, we don't want Everspark to be popping critters, so we've got um, those smokes nice uh, all nicely. And we need to do either a triple smoke or just at least a double smoke at the end here. We're just going to let them naturally find their own targets, so the flare needs to be far enough back that um, Everspark and the Zookas are going to be quite far back. But you'll see that there was a little bit of error here. That Everspark is the only troop in the rear smoke which is a bit of a shame just because of the way that the um, ranges work out Everspark is a little bit further back so you might want to flare up a little bit closer to the cannons um, first and then let them spread which is all good even if they're a little bit uh, grouped up they'll spread out naturally uh, they'll fan out as they go um, I like Everspark being part of this attack because she can just poop those critters and it will just sort of have like a natural critter um, that doesn't cost any GBE as opposed to throwing critters for all of these single shots um, all the way around this little horseshoe area. Once this smoke does clear we want to be shocking this group because they're obviously normally all rocket launchers um, but we've got at least those two rocket launchers so we definitely want to be shocking them as we come out. And you can optional, optionally throw critters as well. Um, yeah, I definitely suggest that there's so many um, single shot defenses out here that you're just going to lose so many troops really quickly. That's why we've got those um, riflemen, so we don't want to over critter and spend up all of our GBE. But I do suggest um, a few, uh, maybe at least one, maybe two. Uh, I wouldn't go too much more than that. Uh, three maybe. And that's why Everspark pooping out those critters every now and again is great. Um, but because Everspark did peak first, the grappler went and took her for a ride before um, the shock came into effect, which is a bit of a shame because now she's going to be in range of the things that aren't um, shocked, the, mainly the snipers. Um, this shock was missed, but you can hit all nine of those defenses in one. So now all the um, Zookas are just going to be spreading. Um, you can see that the rocket launcher on the left is going to be out of range. It's um, around about there and this bottom one is also out of range so just make sure they don't spread in range of that um, and let's carry on we're just going to be re-shocking those rocket launchers all day and the critters are going to be slowly moving up um, we wouldn't worry about the crittering anymore because there's only five or four sniper towers left and those machine guns are sort of sort of coming into play so you don't need to critter around them and then once we are getting in range of the crit um, in range of the machine guns, we're going to need to start um, shocking them. Mainly focusing on the right side. Hopefully, would have got that sniper tower down ideally, uh, but that's okay. That's um, we just need to make sure that we know where the range is of that. And then we want to be shocking these right side. Make sure we're clear enough. Um, if we look at the ranges of these machine guns so that we can get a free spot at six o'clock and then you just want to reflare and pound the core down uh, so there would have been eight about a mil on the core just over a mil 
um, but obviously we've got a ton of shields over here um, putting a lot more on that so you need to make sure that you have enough um, juice to fire down this core and Lou's just going to hammer it down for a solid uh, probably nearly two minutes there uh, where he's just going to be hitting the core with the majority of his zookas uh, not very many riflemen which you're not too worried about that is all good so it's a pretty simple attack um, all you need to do is get up there you can even come out um, so we'll have a look at it again from the beginning and the med kits of course nice work Lou um, so we'll have another look at it and sort of try and fix the mistakes along the way so I, pro I probably prefer um, a flare landing he's got one boat of riflemen uh, which is all good uh, you can drop them at the beginning they do walk slightly faster than zookas but that's fine um, you want to keep them as group tightly grouped as you can ideally i would have left spark um, ever spark until after this flare and i would have done this first flare um, sort of above this arrow uh, and that will get the riflemen all nicely grouped and tight uh, and then drop the ever spark when you're about this distance from the beach and then that'll give her a chance to catch up and sort of be at the same pace as everybody else or same distance as everybody else. Um, before you reach that flare, you want to be flaring up to a little bit higher than this flare, I believe. And then I'll do these one, two, and then uh, probably just the two smokes. Cover yourself as you're going in and then allow them to come out of the smoke as you shock so you want to shock before they um, fire anything and you can just shock and you don't have to worry about the spacing of the smokes or anything you just come out of that smoke you'd obviously don't want to shock them as soon as you get in range because you're just going to be wasting all of this time um, just not hitting anything so you want to throw at least two smokes on the way through and then start shocking uh, and throw your two um, sets of critters one either side and ever sparks going to be pooping out her critters and it's going to be all gravy and you just smoke all the way through uh, like just mow your way all the way through um, it's unfortunate that Lou got a little bit nabbed with the um, ever spark grapple and you can definitely shock all nine of those defenses just got to make sure it's nice and central uh, use critters for the single shots and then shocks once we get in range of the machine guns and usually going for the um, six o'clock finish just due to this uh, rocket launcher over here we don't want to go into the nine o'clock too much uh, but we, you could you could and just make sure you know the ranges of everything above the core um, there's nothing going to be too critical because you do need to be completely free there's a, enough shield there that you're going to need to be completely free just to hammer the core for a little while so there you go that's how to do sliding block um, hopefully it helps you out um, there are a couple of paths on the left which i'm hoping to show um, in some other playbook videos so give us a comment down below how you deal with sliding block um, it doesn't come up a massive attack a lot but it comes up a lot in other operations and give us a thumbs up if you like the video thumbs down if you didn't and subscribe for more mooch